Hey everybody, it's Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend, except for this week. I'm super excited to be sharing with you all the ports of call that I'm going to while I'm on a Western Mediterranean cruise and actually on an official, hopefully well-deserved vacation. So yesterday we were in Tallinn, France, T-O-U-L-O-N, Tallinn, France. And you know what? It's a small little town. It's cute. It's quiet. We were there on a Sunday, so it was extra quiet. So if you ever are going on a trip, make sure you check to see where you're going on Sunday. If it's any kind of a religious destination, you can expect a lot of places going to be closed. And that was the case today in Tallinn. There was not a lot open. Now the cruise ship doesn't actually come into Tallinn, France. You're actually going to come into Provence, France, and you're going to have to get over to Tallinn, France. And there's three ways that you can go from where the ship is going to come in over to the actual town. The first option is going to be you can take a taxi. So they're going to have drivers waiting when the cruise ships come in that you can take over to the, the downtown. This is a great idea if you are a larger party. I'd say if you are four or more people, this is something you certainly want to consider because it's probably going to be a little bit quicker and it's probably going to be a little bit cheaper than some of the other options. The second option is going to be to walk about 15 or 20 minutes over to the local bus and then you're going to be on a local bus schedule to take that into Tallinn. That's going to be the cheapest of the options. The most expensive, but yet honestly the most enjoyable and the easiest one is they will have a ferry literally right at the cruise terminal ready to go to take you over to Tallinn, France. So if many of you have been over to St. Martin, it's a similar kind of setup where you just have to get take the ferry over to the main portion of um, the port that you're in. But that comes at a price tag of $25 per person for a return trip. So there and back. They luckily will charge this to your room, something that um, I wasn't expecting when we got out there. They simply took down our room number on a clipboard and we see that charge come through on our account. So we didn't have to use a credit card. We didn't have to use our cash um, to get on board this ferry shuttle, but that is what we did. The ferry is then, you know, probably about a 10 minute, 10 to 15 minute ferry ride away. We were lucky enough to have a tour group going at the same time. You all know that I personally enjoy walking around a lot and just seeing and getting immersed in, some, in a culture or in a city. Here we did have tour group number 24 with Royal Caribbean join us on this shuttle. And so we did get an introduction into Tallinn and into this area while we were going over there because we were just, you know, really close to this other tour group and they were using the microphone. So a really neat experience to just get some of the history on the location as we went over to Tallinn. Now, I didn't really think that there was a lot to do in Tallinn. It was a very small town. But we did, you know, kind of go off and we looked at the map and kind of marked out a few things of where we wanted to go. And so as soon as we got off, the first thing that I noticed is that, you know, the same train that we saw in Set France the day before, the little Le Petit train was still running even here in Tallinn. So if you do want to um, get some more of the history, see around the downtown area, that is certainly a great option for you. And again, it goes for about eight euro for an adult. Um, so that is something if you can't really walk around a lot, we're here in the middle of summer, so it's pretty warm. Um, that is going to be a solid option to, you know, see some of the highlights that are around. From there, we learned from tour group number 24's um, group leader or tour guide that, you know, there was a open air market going on. And on Saturday and Sundays, those are the best in Tulin. So we went over to uh, this open air market. There was a church service going on while we were there. But there was plenty of people out, lots of vegetables, lots of fruit. A lot of those you probably cannot bring back onto the ship given different international rules and regulations. But if you wanted to buy something and eat it there, you could absolutely do this. So we kept walking and just kind of wanted to see what was there. I mean, not really having anything in mind. Again, I love just being immersed in the culture and getting lost in a new town. And we did come across the train station in Tallinn. And so I thought that this was a really neat thing. Tallinn itself is pretty small. If you've been there before, you may want to seek out some other options. And the train station here has plenty of places to go. So you can just jump on a train. A lot of them were an hour away. We were here from 8 to 6.30 p.m. today. So there's plenty of time to actually go to another city if you want to and simply come back later on in the afternoon. So a lot of good opportunities to do that. They also had a lot of ferries. So I'm not really sure where all of these ferry ships were going, but I promise you there was like two or three leaving every 15 minutes 
to the neighboring islands, I'm assuming. And there was a lot of people going and coming. I have a friend of mine on the ship who did jump on one of these ferries just to check out somewhere different. So if you've been to Tallinn before and you feel like you've kind of been there, done that, this is a great option to give you the ability to explore another location. So when walking around, we also stumbled across a beautiful square that housed the Opera House. Now, I personally would have loved to have gone and seen an opera. I've not really seen that many in my day, but when I'm over in Europe, there's always this urge for some reason to go and see an opera that is being performed. As this was a Sunday afternoon, it was close and there wasn't one going on. So that was not an opportunity, but it was neat to really see where the place was and know that it existed and that, you know, the opera and culture has a really strong place here in Tallinn. I also found um, the park called the Place of the Liberty. And this is one of the oldest parks, I believe, in Tallinn. It was opened in 1889. And so it's just really neat to walk through this park, see the fountain up front. This is also just a great place to sit, rest a little while, and enjoy. Now, if you're looking for an option that is more family friendly, I did find two different options that you might want to check out if you have kids. The first is going to be there's a Ferris wheel. It was closed on the day that we were there. It was a Sunday. Um, but that would be some great views to oversee the city as well as see um, the ships and the ocean that is out there or the bay that you come into. And there's also a maritime museum that is right beside of the Ferris wheel, so it's easy to find. Um, this is something that I know my nephew Holden would love, as we just got back from visiting the Maritime Museum just outside of Washington, D.C. Now, something that is more my speed, instead of going to the Maritime Museum, we simply just went back to the area where the cruise ship was and sat down at one of the many coffee shops to choose from. It's a great way to get some caffeine if you love the taste of coffee, something I can do, or if you want to have a beer or a spritzer, be a little bit more European, you can certainly do that as well. A lot of these places do not serve food until 11 or noon, so make sure that you're not going too terribly early if you are hungry or you are eating on the ship. They will gladly serve you alcohol and coffee first thing in the morning, but food is going to be pretty hard to come by. We were able to get a French baguette that I was able to put some apricot spread on that was really good um, and ordered a croissant, but that was the uh, most or the largest items that we could order. Now, all in all, Talon was pretty boring for us. We walked around, we saw some beautiful things, but there wasn't a lot to do because it was a Sunday and a lot of it was just closed. So it was a small town. We made the most of it, but if you're going there, I would recommend checking out some of the excursions from Royal Caribbean if you want to have something more interactive and you're not necessarily wanting to walk around and just immerse yourself like I did. This might help you have a little bit better of experience, but we were there for about an hour and a half before we were back at the coffee shop, just enjoying before we were on the ship once again. All right, everyone, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, sharing with you my Western Mediterranean cruise, Port of Call, Tallinn, France, and hope to see you on a Weekend Cruise soon.